Mr. Mark, I offer heartfelt parts thanks to you and your colleagues for this announcement and your inspiring partnership with us. Since the Jewish Community Center of Greater Vancouver uh, has, was built here, as I said before, in 1961, it's been a cultural and social home, the living room for our community. That's Alvin Wasserman. He's the president of Greater Vancouver's Jewish Community Center, and he was speaking at a recent announcement that the BC government is donating $25 million to help renovate and expand the JCC. The venerable building at the corner of Oak and West 41st is 60 years old. They'll have to raise a lot more money from other sources to pay for the $150 million project, and they're hoping the federal government will kick in some money too. Now, the timing of this announcement in B.C. may not have been planned to coincide with the 2021 census that many of you have been filling out right now, but there is a strong connection. I'm Ellen Besner, and this is what Jewish Canada sounds like for Tuesday, May 11, 2021. Welcome to the CJN Daily, brought to you by Metropia. Vancouver's Jewish community is growing at least according to the census from 10 years ago. The city's population is now up by about 14% to 26,000 since 2001. With the third largest Jewish population in the country, there's a need for more daycare spaces, more affordable rental apartments, more seniors programs, and even space for the King David High School. But here's the thing. No one knows exactly how many Jews there actually are in Vancouver at the moment, or in Canada in general for that matter. And that's partly due to the way the last census was designed in 2016, which essentially lost half the Jewish population of Canada, at least on paper. Researchers estimate that the country's Jewish community is somewhere between 300,000 and 390,000. Coming up, we'll hear why Canada's Jewish organizations are pushing so hard to get you to fill out the new census, and specifically two lines in the long-form census to tell the government you're Jewish. If you're on social media or you get email blasts from Jewish organizations, you might have seen the hashtag Be Counted campaign. Two questions are important for them, 23 and 30. One asks what religion you are and the other one asks your ethnicity. Joining me now to explain what was wrong with the last census and how this new one's supposed to be better is Professor Mort Weinfeld. He's with McGill University and he's the author of Like Everyone Else But Different, The Paradoxical Success of Canadian Jews. And he's also the chair of a committee of experts that helps the Canadian government design the latest census. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. All right. Can you recap for us this timeline of how Stats Canada lost half the Jews in Canada on the last census and how they hope to fix it this time? The problem is that, the, that in 2016, the Jewish group wasn't that, uh, wasn't, wasn't that large compared to other groups. So in the question, they give you examples of when they say, what is your ethnic origin? They listed the top 24 ethnic groups in Canada. And bad news, Jews didn't make the cut. So they weren't listed as a prompt. When you're not listed as a prompt, the number of people who pick you goes down dramatically. And that's what happened to the Jews. So why is any of this important? Historically, how many Jews have there been in Canada from the census? It's very simple. You take all the Jews by religion, and you add to them all those Jews by ethnic origin who have no other religion. So, you know, if you're, uh, so that way you can, be an, you can be an ethnic Jew in the Canadian census. And that's how we got the numbers. But the ethnic origin question became very, very uh, uh, less than useful in 2016. So 2021, there is an attempt to, to try to solve that problem. What that means is, the organized Jewish community is launching a campaign to try to get people to fill in, maybe write in Jewish also for their ethnic origin. That will boost the numbers. So you're saying that the design of the new census questions still may not be clear enough to count all the Jews, such as those who come from, let's say, mixed marriages or Jews who see themselves as like cultural Jews. The Jews have had two questions that have been able to, to identify who's a Jew. One is the religion question. The question for that is, what is your religion? Four words, Ellen. What is your religion? I've told people that stats can, I think it's a terrible question, but it doesn't matter what I think. That's the question. And you can only pick one answer. So if you are a product of a religious intermarriage, you have to pick what you are. 
one one option. So when all is said and done, what do you expect Canada's Jewish population numbers to be when the census numbers are released in about a year from now? The, the Canadian Jewish population will certainly rebound from 2016 because then it was ridiculously low because the ethnic origin question really messed things up. Um, so, you know, I would say we'll probably be back to where we were. Now, to give you an idea, if you look at other diaspora communities, this isn't bad. The British Jewish population has been on a steady decline for the past decades. The French Jewish population has been declining. The American Jewish population, well, it all depends on who you count. They don't have census data. So, you know, some people say there's as low as 5 million. Some people say it goes up to 7 or 8 million. But I would say we'll probably be holding our own. Depends what happens with the ethnic origin question. That's the real answer. And depends if we can get some of those atheist Jews to to actually say, you know, click their Jewish by religion. All right, Professor Weinfeld, I'm sure we'll talk to you then. Thanks for being here. My pleasure, Ellen. My pleasure. Now, aside from researchers like Weinfeld, the organized Jewish community has a lot invested in finding out not just the overall total number of Jews here in Canada, but what the community looks like and broken down by things like age and education and economic situation and so on. Simon Granite is a senior manager of policy and communications with CJA, the Center for Israel and Jewish Affairs. They're one of the main political action agencies representing Canadian Jews to government. Simon, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Simon, why is CJA making it such a priority to get this census filled out this week? The census is really the backbone of Canadian policy, and that doesn't just apply to the federal government or the provincial government or local governments, but it applies to NGOs, think tanks, and academia. And for the Jewish community, it's particularly important to make sure that there's an accurate enumeration in the census um, to make sure that the community in their planning for their services and their programs can have an accurate picture of the Canadian population. Some examples might be how old is the population? How many young children are there growing up? Where do we need services like maybe daycares or poverty programs? I mean, it's probably about planning, right? But also getting funding from governments. That's exactly. That's exactly right. So specifically advocating for grants uh, for particular, whether that's for security uh, through the SIP grant for uh, synagogues, for instance, or looking at even broader policies, too, that will uh, take on uh, issues that are priorities for the Jewish community, like fighting and combating anti-Semitism, addressing poverty, a whole host of issues that matter to us. It's it's critical to have an accurate picture so that we can, uh, when we go to government stakeholders, we can share our story and advocate for our fair share. Thanks, Simon, for the explanation. Thank you. If you want some help filling out the census, or you want a paper copy, or you just aren't good with computers, or you don't have one, you can get help from Statistics Canada. There's a phone number on the census notice, and I'll read it for you here, 1-855-340-2021. The government says the census form should be completed Tuesday, May 11th, but if you haven't done it before the end of the week, that's okay too. After that, they'll start nudging you. And that's what Jewish Canada sounds like for this episode of the CJN Daily, brought to you by Metropia. Integrity, community, quality, and customer care. I'm Ellen Besner, and you can reach me at ebesner at thecjn.ca.